Hello and welcome to the second of the paperback videos. Now in this video we're really just going to be taking a look at doing some fine tuning to the formatting. Now everything that I'm about to show you are purely just my preferences when it comes to formatting a paperback. They're just little tweaks that I've picked up over the years to make my um, paperbacks look a little bit more professional. It's up to you whether you choose to use them or whether you use this video as a jumping board, if you like, to create your own tweaks. So let's jump straight in. Okay, so we're really coming into the home straight now and the first thing I do is I choose a font that I like to see in my paperbacks. This is Times at New Roman which with some pods can have problems because of the curly quotes and curly commas. Sometimes they don't print up great. I'd suggest if you want to pick a font, the best thing to do is go and look at your favourite book and see what font that is. I personally go for Palantino. So to change all of these, all of the fonts throughout the book, I just have the cursor somewhere in the text, go to edit, um, select all, and I choose Palantino. And as you can see, the curly quotes and curly commas have now gone to dashes or just strokes. So they print up a lot better. So that's the first thing I do. I'm going to press save. Now, the next thing I'll do, I'm going to change where these numbers are positioned. I, again, they're fine in the middle of the page. I always like to position the numbers on the outer edge of the page. To do that, I have to adjust what is called the master page. Um, which is basically the template. So to do that, while in the in the margin, double click. And that takes you to the master page or the standard pages. So what I want is that one to be justified to the outer edge of the page and the same thing there. Uh, to that one. I also like to be, I like the letters italic And that one italic and I'm going to position it uh, eight points down Ooh, sorry wrong one special options and go eight and apply close and I'm going to do the same there so again paragraphs special uh, paragraph settings eight and apply and close to return to the main page you right click on this main area and go back to main text. And what you can see is the numbers have, are now italic and have moved to the outer edges of the page. Okay. Now again, this is personal preference. If you, if you want them in the center of the page, if you don't want them italic, that's fine. The next thing I do is I like to see the title of the book uh, above the first chapter and then on the uh, the adjacent page, my name. So it would be Ben Brown here and Longthorn here. So again, to do that, I'm gonna go into the master page. I'm gonna go into here, it's already italic, and this is gonna be Longthorn. And I'm gonna make it slightly smaller because it is in the margin. So I'm gonna make it maybe 10. And again, I'm gonna move it to the outer edge and I'm going to move it eight points down, the same as the numbering. And in this one, I'm going to go Ben Brown. And I'm going to put it uh, eight points down again. and close and I'm going to return to the main page and as you can see it's now placed my name above uh, I'm dyslexic so I'm never 100% sure is that the right side no the left side of the book or the right hand side as I'm looking at it 
and Longthorn or the title above chapter one. And again, because I don't want numbers to appear or um, before chapter one, the numbers don't appear and neither do the title headings. What I also do is because these are a little bit too bold at the moment, I change their color. And again, like I say, all of this is optional. So I go to text, colors, and I choose something like a gray. And close, I'll do the same for Longthorn. Go to text, to color, and I'll choose a gray. Apply and close. So that when I return back to main text, you can see that it's a lighter color. So when it's it's not glaring at you in your book as you're as you're looking um, at the page. So it's more subtle on the eye. And I do the same thing again with the numbers. So I'm going to double click and I'm going to go down to the numbers. And again, I'm going to go to text, color, and I'm going to choose the gray. Close. And I'm going to do the same here. Text, color, the gray, apply, close, and I'm going to return. And you can see it's just softened the color of the numbers and the text that I've edited. So now that is my book completely finished. I'm completely happy with that book now. So this is the point at which you would export. Okay, so the next portion deals with uh, the export. Uh, but since this original video was made, there's been some changes. So um, what is export in the upcoming video is now called publish in the newer version of Papyrus Author. But you can also access it from this new authors menu. So if you go to the authors menu, you can come down to publish and PDF. So most pods... Um, accept your file in two standard formats, PDF or as a Word document. I personally find that the PDF format is an easier one to deal with with your pods. It has less problems in terms of formatting issues. Word, as I stated on the intro on my first video, Word struggles with the format in a little bit. So I'm going to export to PDF. So again, you go File, Export, PDF and just go export to PDF ticking over and like I say you're guaranteed that whatever I whatever I've done in Papyrus now will appear exactly the same in the PDF okay so um, it's open side by side so if I scroll through you can see the PDF is exactly the same as how Papyrus formatted it with the pages being in the correct place and the numbering being correct uh, my little headings being in the correct place and so on um, so yeah a PDF is a more reliable format to export or upload to your pod okay okay so that was the last of the paperback videos I know that was quite a lot to take in but once you've done, uh, you've formatted a few books, it will become second nature, everything that I've showed you. What you could also do, which is what I often do with tutorials, is I'll have the tutorial running alongside whatever I'm doing. So if you're formatting a book, have these tutorials running at the same time and just follow them step by step. Also, as I say, export into PDF is a much more solid format for when you upload your books to your pod. Now I've used Papyrus Author to completely um, create two books and export them to, to my pod, as well as to export many other books to uh, create space. And it just works every single time. It's extremely fast and easy to use. So until next time, catch you later.